hi guys good day and welcome back to my youtube channel is your girl elora ella and of course i'm your favorite blog of all activities and all places where you can go to or places where you can visit and spend your money in 042 and today just like every other day we are currently at opera square for the event southeast food and fashion festival yes yeah, so i've been posting about this on my instagram on my youtube on my whatsapp but mostly on my instagram so if you are not on my instagram i wonder what you're doing i really wonder what you're doing so this is an event that happens annually and this is the fourth season yeah the fourth episode so if you're in enugu make sure you pull up for next day because the this day has passed <laughs> anyways with no further ado if this is your first time coming to my channel please don't make it your last by clicking the subscribe button down below turn on your post notification bell so that whenever i make a post you will be notified yes so let's go let's go let us go. I don't go anywhere. This event took place at Opera Square. There was lots of vendors in attendance. But first off, we're going to focus on the fashion because there were a lot of people that were very expressive when it comes to fashion. You can see this and then I, I really don't know what he was going for the whole long blue outfit and then this brother was ready to slay like slay and of course the men we are representing I quickly stopped by the body paint session where I got my hand painted by the one and only kings the painter and yeah guys he gave me queen cause Oh, of course, I am a queen and the haters are hating. But yeah, ask me why I'm dragging with masquerades now. It's super Sam, catchy, I clean the drama, like you guys are amazing. Of course, my staff, all the Nazmin group team, you guys are amazing. I can't call all of you. My sister, but of course, the brands. It's not easy for any brand, international brands, to decide to sponsor an event in Southeast. Of course, we know what goes on in Southeast, especially in a group. But um, these brands, have had confidence in us. Some of them have been there with us repeatedly. I also want to say a very big thank you to um, Crips TV. Very big thank you to Crips TV. You guys have been amazing. I love you all. And every other person, you've been amazing. I really can't see you. Thank you so much, Enugu. Have fun! Sure, I stopped by my friends first because this is all supporting our friend's business. So if you're in Enugu, contact her. Moving on, we went to the runway where we had a couple of stylists showcase their works. And currently, we had models from Andrew Black's collection walk down the runway to showcase some of the clothes from his collection. And to be honest, it was wonderful. And just when the party was about to get started, Frank Mweke, the APGA candidate for the Enugu State Gubernatorial Election for 2023, graced us with his presence. And truth be told, he had a lot to say when it comes to youth empowerment in Enugu State. <laughs> No, we haven't met. I'm fine. It's a big pleasure to meet you in person. I wish you win. I'm a blogger. Say hi to my blog. I do I do content about Enugu on YouTube. Oh, okay. So I show places around Enugu, the Ulao and the urban areas. I also work um, with Josh. I catch for you. So I work in the Ajati. So I want to find places around that needs publishing and marketing. Asia, North and South America, Europe, they all have to be on deck for us to rebuild our city. They all have to be on deck for us to attract people to Enugu. We must market and make sure to to bring the world here. It's not going to happen by accident. Countries market themselves, corporations market themselves, artists market themselves. So Enugu must market or must be marketed by its leadership, by its young people, by its entrepreneurs, by its businesses. 
Enugu must market itself. The government must market Enugu. And under my administration as governor, I will take Enugu to the world. And we will for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please get the picture. So here are all the vendors that were present for the Southeast Food and Fashion Festival Season 4. So if you're not able or you were not informed or you did not know about this event, well, this is me telling you that 2023 is another year and is another opportunity for you to advertise or register and get a stand where you can broadcast or showcase your business so i'm going to put their handle down below you can follow them up to stay updated but know this this event happens end of every year so it happens either october or november so if you're interested link up and stay glued on their page so we had a couple of performances these dancers they danced it was quite entertaining we also had a couple of live performances from upcoming artists which was also entertaining and of course what is an event in Enugu without the popular Achikolo dance steps <laughs> Okay guys, so that is it for Food and Fashion Festival Season 4. I'm going home because I'm tired. The event is still on, but I can't do roaming Jamaica till the end of today because I have to go to work tomorrow. Yes, I'll work tomorrow. So if you enjoyed this vlog as much as I did today, because I have enjoyed this vlog as much as I do, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and share my video. Share my video. Till next time, Elora Ella. Presenting. Goodbye.